Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Paul Raftree and I'm from Projects Outreach. I've been asked to speak today about the importance of advisory boards in the modern world and what we are seeing them doing. In the post-COVID-19 world, you may well say may we live in interesting days, because we do. We are seeing people pushing wonderful new ideas forward very fast and what they're saying is, how do I communicate that I'm ready to, to borrow money or to take new investors along the journey with me? What we're seeing is that they need to show they have a great team and smart people. Their board is important for corporate governance. And most members of the board focus on compliance with the rules and regulations and particularly if a company that is working towards listing on a stock exchange there is a great deal of important focus on making sure you are fully compliant almost at the same time the ceo and to a lesser degree the chairman need to ensure however that the company's underlying mission whether it's developing a mine or bringing our fintech into realization or bringing forth some new technology is actually happening. So they need somebody other than the consultants. What we're seeing is importantly the rise of the advisory board. The advisory board has with it people who bring a mix of skills that make the company actually deliver what it's supposed to be delivering. They aren't the technical hands-on people, but what they are doing is ensuring that they are monitoring that that is being delivered. So what they're doing is working directly with the CEO on the mission of the company to bring forward the mining project or the intellectual property development. It's also giving an opportunity for the people who work with the project to be brought forward into the prospectus or other financial offering documents. What we're seeing increasingly is for almost a second row. What we see is at the beginning of the offer document, the importance of the board, the controls, the compliance. And as we work through the technical part of the document, we see the management team and behind that, the consultants or the board, advisory board members. What investors want to understand is the importance of having the right people there to pull the deal together. Yes, the CEO is very important, but the people that help the CEO actually pull it together are no longer to seem to be the board, but what they are is seen to be the advisory board members. At Projects RH, we work very closely with the companies as they put together their information memoranda, their financial models, and other documents helping them go through their fundraising process. What we also do is work with them to ensure that they have the right people on their advisory board, not only to deliver, but to be seen by the financial community to be the ones that will deliver. We are working with more than six companies at the moment to ensure that they are in that process of pulling together the end of their, of their development so that they have a story to give the market. It's not just a compliance story. It's a story that we've got our product, we're here to make it, and we're going to continue to bring this product to market. Ladies and gentlemen, it's really important to understand that in the challenging times we live in today, advisory boards have developed a new world. And we are here to help companies get their advisory boards into shape. One of the great things about working at Projects RH is I get to see wonderful projects. At the moment, we're working with a terrific young team who have a world-changing project in industrial engineering. What we have found is the chair of our advisory board, who is an internationally famous electrical engineer. He will make our deal work. Ladies and gentlemen, 
what we've seen from the reaction of the financial community to his appointment is that a deal will happen. Advisory boards are important and we help companies shape their advisory boards. We've just closed on an investment in a medtech. And what really astonished me was that the quality of the board was less important than the quality of the advisory board. What they said to me was, the board's great, they're doing a, gr a good job, and they'll get the paperwork done. What we love is the technical people, coupled with the finance people on the advisory board that are actually making the science come to life. Ladies and gentlemen, advisory boards now matter in the financial markets. We see a variety of projects. We're currently working on a really exciting solar project in Queensland. We've just had feedback from a Swiss investor that they love our project, but more importantly, they can see the quality of the advisory board in delivering the project. Not that they are physically responsible. We have consulting engineers, but what they said is the advisory board had the skill, expertise, and experience. These are not people with corporate governance experience. What they had is what the investor wanted. They had project experience in delivering solar projects in Australia. We are seeing a new generation of companies with a different structure. Long live the advisory board because investors want them. I'm Paul Raftery from Projects RH.